everyone, this is Joe Workman, and today I am so excited to show you the new version of Moving Box. Now, Moving Box, you probably might not know, was the actual first ever slider stack for Rapid Weaver. And um, it's gotten a lot of great features over the years, but it's kind of gotten a little long in the tooth. So this year I wanted to completely revamp it and bring it back to its uh, former glory of King of Stacks. And I really feel we accomplished that. So uh, let's dive in and see how awesome it is. So here we are on the Moving Box preview site, and we're gonna go over all the demos here to show you everything that Moving Box can do. Now, the first here is we can see that Moving Box can be a simple slider, where you have just a simple one slide, and you can slide vertical, horizontal, or even fade in and out. And lastly, you can even do infinite scrolling so that you have a container that constantly scrolls and never stops. Now moving beyond that, Moving Box allows you to show more than one slide at a time, turning it into a very powerful carousel as well. And as you see in these examples, we can move multiple slides at a time or single slides. And we can also do vertical carousels as well. Next, we'll see how flexible Moving Box is with dealing with variable width content and variable height. So as we see in this example, uh, I have slides that are multiple different heights and Moving Box will actually change the height of the container to show all of the sides that we need. On the flip side, if we have variable width content, where maybe you have content that is fixed width, Moving Box will take care of that and nicely scroll to the exact size uh, of the slide that we want to see. Next is center mode. And this is kind of a, uh, a little bit different take on what a carousel is. And it's actually kind of what the original origins of Moving Box were, where the center slide is accented, where it shows you know great detail for the center slide, and you can see what the next and previous slides are. Now what's great is that we can actually apply an opacity and even margins to kind of differentiate the center slide from the previous and next slides. Now this last feature is something that users have wanted for years. Um, they've constantly been asking me for this, a way where we can have these great containers that you see inside iTunes Store and other places where you have a nice thumbnail on the side or on the bottom and those thumbnails match up to a slide. So as you see, as I'm moving through here, A is linked to one, B is linked to two, so on and so forth. And this isn't actually achieved in one moving box stack. This is achieved with two different moving box stacks. And what's awesome is they don't really need to be right next to each other. This gives you a lot of flexibility with your layout. Now what you may have overlooked when we were looking at these demos is all the awesome navigation options that Moving Box has. As you see, we can have block arrows, we can have arrows vertically, um, you can have arrows show on hover as we see in this fade example. At the bottom corner, these arrows hover in and out as you hover, okay? Um, we have dots that have numbers in them, dots that have nothing in them. We have just numbers. Uh, we have arrows on the inside, arrows on the outside. Um, you really have a lot of flexibility with where you want your navigation positioned. That's for dots and arrows. You can then position them on the inside, on the outside of your slider, and at any side of your slider, left, right, top, bottom. So really, you have the ultimate flexibility in terms of where you want to locate your navigation or if you want to show or hide your navigation as well. Now, Moving Box uses Font Awesome for all of its navigation icons. And this is great because it, got, it allows us a lot of flexibility in terms of size, color, and speed because a lot of times you're actually already using Font Awesome on your website. So Moving Box is gonna leverage that, which will make your sites a lot faster, cleaner, and these icons look beautiful on mobile devices and retina displays. Another option for navigation is external linking. Moving Box allows you to link from any link or button to a specific slide. You can even assign your slide a unique URL that you can give to a customer 
And when they visit that URL, the slide will actually show once the page is loaded. This is really cool. Now, before we dive into Rapid Weaver and show you how easy it is to make a slider with Moving Box, I wanted to show you a real world example of that slider sync feature that we've seen. Here is a beautiful gallery built using Moving Box. As you see on the bottom, we have nice image thumbnails. And when we click on those images, the actual slide pertaining to that image is displayed above. Now as you see these images are, are these slides are not just images, they also contain text as well as a buy now button. So here I've created a blank project and I've added a moving box stack to the page. Uh, and this is the default layout. I've modified nothing here. First, you'll notice that moving box has a lot of settings. Um, and a lot of those settings, we're, we're not going to touch those at all in this video. Please make sure you, you look out for additional videos for moving box to see how to use all of these great, more advanced features. So now all I'm going to do is add some slide content to moving box. And to do that, all we need to do is drag and drop content directly into moving box. Okay, so here we've seen I added just a few images into moving box. And what you'll notice is that moving box purposely separates out each slide by a, a few pixels so that you can really clearly understand which stacks are an individual slide. And what's great about this approach is that you can easily reorder your slides whenever you want just by simply dragging and dropping and changing the order. So if we preview this page, we'll see that we immediately have a slider that contains all of our images. Now, a lot of people want a full image slider where the image actually goes from edge to edge. So if, if all we need to do is check the full width image inside the moving box setup, and what that will do is it will force any image that's in the slide to actually scale up. By default, the images will only uh, be scaled to their actual uh, image size. Now, what if we wanted to actually use this as a carousel and display three images at a time? We can easily change the slide to show option to be three. And if we preview our page, we'll see that we now have a carousel. Instead of one image showing at a time, we have three images showing at a time. It's as easy as that. So as you see, moving box is really, really powerful. It's very versatile, it's very flexible. It allows you to configure a lot of different options and have a lot of different layouts and looks and feels. And you know, to be honest, it might be the only slider stack you need in your arsenal. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. As you see, we only scratched the surface of what moving box can do in this video. So be on the lookout for more um, niche advanced uh, tutorials for moving box that go over a lot of the other settings. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoy moving box. Now go forth and make your websites great. Bye.